Hey there divers, it's Mike at Channel Island Scuba. In my finger spool video, you may have noticed that my double ender had a marker on it. This not only allows me to color coordinate my kit, but also helps me identify my double enders at the end of the day in case I've lent one to somebody. I can make sure I get it back. Um, we're going to apply that marker by using a technique called whipping. Um, if you know about knots and that type of stuff, for this application I use microcord 1.18 uh, millimeter paracord basically. You can get this from Paracord Planet online. I think it comes in something like 24 different colors so you can always identify yours. Okay. Um, to start off with I've already cut a pretty good length of this Okay, and I'm going to start off by making just a you know coming back on itself Okay, so I've got a, a kind of a loop going I'm going to take this piece and lay it over the item that I want to apply the whipping to. Okay, um, I'm going to start off by passing the long end over the short end, okay? like so, to start off with. Okay, and now with that in place, I'm going to come back over again on this second pass. I want to make sure that I'm on the inside of that first line, okay, as you can see here. And I can then pull that snug. Hopefully you can see, right, I've pulled that snug, and this is going to allow that to lock into place, okay. And so now that I've got it started, I can get that snugged up, and I'm just going to keep going around this loop that has been formed, okay. And I want to keep it pulled tight as I'm going around. Okay. And I go, go. Okay. Making sure that it's tight and snug up against the last pass. Keep going. Okay. And at the end here, when I come back around, I've got this loop at the end. I'm going to pass the free end back up and through that loop, okay, and pull that tight, okay. Now, with that in place, I can grab, we've got this end here, all right? the original free end. With that, what I can do, grab a pair of uh, needle nose pliers, makes this a little easier to see and a little easier to do. Okay, And I'm going to pull this, and as I pull that, right, I'm pulling the loop tight. Okay, I'm going to get that nice and snug. Okay, get everything cleaned up. Really nice. a good pull. Okay. And then what I basically want to do is pull this piece through so that the knot, that loop gets pulled a bit underneath the whipping itself. Okay. And that's going to lock it in place. Okay. Clean that up a bit. Again, pull. All right. And once I've got that done, you can pull it a little further, right, to really try to get that knot. As you can see, it's starting to disappear underneath the whipping. So we'll pull that some more. It's nice and snug now. Okay. And with uh, scissors, I can trim off this excess. And then I'm simply going to melt this, let that melt back down into here. Okay. Other side. Okay. 
Okay. Melt that into place. Right. And now I can center that. And there you go. Uh, there's my double ender. You know it's mine. Uh, hopefully this will uh, help you hang on to your double enders. They uh, disappear quite often. Um, and hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if so, you know, let us know. If you have any questions, uh, uh, you know, ask them below and we'll get back to you. All right. Thanks much. And we'll talk to you later.